Hey guys, this is TK. In this demonstration, we are going to configure two Nexus 7000 series switches to test virtual port channel feature on Nexus series. And before that, we are going to configure Nexus 2000 series fabric extenders to each Nexus 7000. And then we'll use a Cisco 3750E switch in place of a VMware host that will connect to each fabric extender and create a virtual port channel. Only issue that we are going to run into in this design is when we use a physical switch to simulate VMware virtual switch or VDS is that these virtual switches don't run spanning tree and these fabric extenders have built in BPDU guard feature enabled which we cannot disable so it's not designed to connect to a physical switch that runs spanning tree so in our case we are going to enable BPDU filter in port channel interfaces on Catalyst 3750E switch so fabric extenders won't see any BPDU coming from uh, these interfaces and allow us to uh, form a virtual port channel by not error disabling the ports. F uh, for virtual port channel configuration we need to uh, we need to set up three components. We need a v uh, virtual port channel peer keep alive link uh, which is a point-to-point -point layer 3 connection between Nexus 7000s in, uh, in a separate VRF for heartbeat uh, to prevent dual active or split brain scenario. Uh, second, we need a virtual uh, port channel peer link that synchronizes both chassis control plane for virtual port channel related operations. We are going to configure this as a standard trunk interface between both switches. Third is the virtual port channels that connect to other devices. In this configuration, we are going to utilize four modules at each Nexus 7000. Two M1 modules, modules 1 and 2 at each Nexus 7000 will let us to configure 2 gigabits per second port channel for VPC peer keep alive. And two M2 modules, modules 4 and 7 will let us to configure 40 gigabits per second port channel for VPC peer link and also another 20 gigabits per second port channel for, to, for connect to Nexus uh, 2K fabric extenders. We are going to create two uh, we are going to create new VDCs, virtual device context at each uh, 7000 for this setup. So let's start by creating these VDCs. Okay, so on the first Nexus 7000, let's create a VDC. We'll name it DC N7K1 VDC 1 and we'll do the same on the second Nexus 7000 create a new VDC okay, once the VDC is initialized we'll allocate ports to this new VDC we allocate those four interfaces, 2M1 and 2M2 interfaces, uh, to these VDCs, which are uh, these uh, these four ports, four modules, I should say, and we do the same at um, the second uh, Nexus uh, 7K VDC. Allocate the interfaces, the four modules. Let's install the feature set fx, which I have already installed. Let's do the same uh, on both uh, VDCs. I'm sorry, on both uh, the admin VDCs. And then let's switch into uh, the, uh, the the VDCs that we just created. Let's go through the standard setup. same on the second Nexus 7K and you pretty much uh, notice that in this configuration we are going to uh, configure the both Nexus 7Ks exactly the same and let's install the feature set effects on each VDC.
and now let's create the port channel uh, for the fax port channel 101 switch port mode fax fabric and let's configure that to associate with the uh, 101 fax associate 101 let's allocate ports in our case uh, 412 and 712 which are M2 uh, modules this is the 20 gigabits per second port channel for uh, fax fabric extender switch port mode fax and let's uh, assign that to the, the port channel we just created 101 You see the fix came uh, online. You can do show fix and make sure that it's properly connected to the Nexus 7K. Let's do the same on uh, the second Nexus 7000 VDC. Feature set fix, interface board channel 101, switchboard mode fix fabric and FEX associate 101 you see that this 101 is where uh, uh, the kind of like a definition of the module so each port on this FEX will associate as um, 101 uh, dash 1 dash 1 like that Okay, that fix is on line two. Okay, let's install the uh, the necessary feature sets for uh, VPC, which is which are uh, LACP and VPC. Let's create the VRF for the uh, peer keep alive link, and let's configure that point to point port channel, layer three port channel for for VPC peer keep alive and assign that to uh, the, the VRF Let's assign the ports for the port channel So these are the two M1 modules. Let's do the same on the second Nexus. Which uh, LACP and VPC is required for VPC configuration. Create the VRF, create the port channel, assign the VRF to the port channel, and configure layer 3 addressing. Let's allocate the interfaces to the port channel. Now let's make sure that the port channel uh, is up between both uh, Nexus 7 Ks for peer keep lives. You can see that it's up. Let's uh, do ICMP connectivity test to make sure that we have end-to-end -end connectivity over that VRF, which we do. Okay, now let's create uh, configure the VPC domain one. Let's create the priority uh, for this one lower, so it becomes the 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 active primary for the v uh, VPC domain. Let's set up the VPC peer keep alive destination on that. We do the same on the the second one, second Nexus 7K. 
are going to use the default role priority so this will be the secondary on VPC domain so if you do a show VPC domain you see the peer keeper -like link is up but the peer link is not configured so we are going to configure the peer link now that would be our port channel 1 and it's a trunk interface and we're just going to specify that as a VPC peer link and you see that it's going to configure uh, uh, the bridge assurance on this trunk interface which is spanning free port type network let's allocate the the four interfaces from 2M2 modules for the VPC peer link. Assign those to channel group 1, no shot. Let's do the same on the second switch too. By default, as soon as you put the VPC peer link, it enables the bridge assurance. Alright, so our VPC peer link is up, so let's check the port uh peer link is configured, let's check the port channels, they are they are also up. And let's check the VPC which is all good. And the role is primary. let's configure the port channels uh, for the for the 3750 port channel 10 let's get VPC 10 on that and let's assign the fax interfaces we just uh, connected 101-1-1 you can see this uh, fax numbering it goes like this based on the number that you associate with the fax so it's going to be 101-1-1 and we are going to add that to the port channel this is the b same thing to the the secondary switch um, the second Nexus 7K port channel 10 switch board and assign the VPC for that VPC 10 and then allocate the fax interface for that as well 101-1-1 ok so show port channel summary interface port channel 10 right now they both are suspended because we didn't configure the other end so let's configure this uh, the 3750E switch which is acting as a VMware host remember we need to disable um, the spanning tree on this on these ports so what we are going to do is we are going to do uh, BPDU filter on that port channel not to send BPDUs and assign ports 10 gig ports to the port channel Let's check show 
export channel summary on this switch and make sure that we see the interface just coming up so it's a channel summary and you see that the virtual port channel is up right now if you go back to the other switches, uh, Nexus 7 case, those are in active mode which were which was before on suspended mode now they are active we can do some uh, verifications right now show VPC will show that um, the, the the VPC that we just created 10 up and up if you check the rule on the primary you see it's uh, the priority that we configured make it primary Just static uh, static VPC ten, and um, you see that the port channel ten is up, admin state is up, and status is all good. Show port channel summary. Just a recap: all the port channels that we created, one and two, and ten is our VPC. The secondary on the second Nexus 7K, same thing. Okay, let's take a look at what happens if we enable uh, spanning tree. Let's go ahead and disable the BPDU filter. Let's do no span tree BPDU filter, which will enable BPDUs, and you see right away the fix uh, interface went, uh, went for BPDU guard and uh, disable the port. And you see that interface, both interfaces are down now. Alright, so this is pretty much uh, uh, for this uh, demonstration. Thank you very much.